The next sort of attachment then, which uh, Bowlby described as insecure, is called an avoidance attachment. So we've had a ambivalent, this is called an avoidance attachment. Okay, this is sometimes associated with emotional neglect that is characterised by parents who find it very difficult to express emotions. So they find it difficult to express love and care or even to express anger and other emotions. I suppose typically they're people who believe that you don't show emotions. You bottle it all up. Stiff up a lip. But those parents may, in certain circumstances, come over as quite cold, hostile even, maybe even rejecting. And encourage feelings, or they model a way of behaving in which feelings are suppressed. So you kind of learn that you, we don't get angry around here, or we don't we don't express emotions in a, in an open way around here. We keep those to ourselves. So I'm sure children don't actually actively think that way, but they're learning that that is the way in which people behave. So again, uh, we mustn't be too orthodox about that, because I'm sure that many parents find it difficult to express their emotions openly. Uh, other parents may be very emotional, very touchy-feely. Uh, there's the opposites, and you know, there's a wide range of ways in which we can bring up our children. But for some children, uh, this produces a problem, because they themselves then find it very difficult to emphasise to empathise with other people, to recognise emotions in other people. So they can become quite insensitive themselves. They're very self-sufficient. They may be insensitive to other people's type of emotions. May express themselves, perhaps, in an angry and aggressive way in the classroom or outside in the community. So foster carers, again, will look after children with avoidance attachment patterns. And there, again, they're trying to get that attachment cycle going again. So this is a longer term process than perhaps dealing with ambivalence, but they are trying to build trust in the child. They're trying to model behaviour which says it's okay to show love, it's okay to show care, it's okay to show anger sometimes, we don't have to get out of control because we show these emotions. But that may take quite a long time for children gradually to learn that. But if you can learn one way of behaving, you can learn another way of behaving. So children can still learn different ways of forming attachments with significant adults. So this is character, a characteristic of emotional abuse in its extreme form. Parents tend to be rather cold and hostile, don't believe in showing emotions. Again, there may be problems if children then find it difficult to understand emotions in other people. They're not sensitive <coughs> to emotions in other people, can't respond to emotions in other people. So they might, might find it more difficult to form relationships with other people because they're quite insensitive. Other people might be rather wary of them, talking about other children or other adults as they get older. 